If it's your first time coming in Canada and you're feeling a little nervous, don't worry. I got you. Got my mom. Hi. And it's her first time coming in fall. <laughs> and she's here to share us some insights on what she thinks about the country. Uh, we arrived here with my uh, two kids, Earth siblings, last September 13. Uh, this is just a, a short trip, 10 days trip. So every day we get out from uh, the house and visit the place. And uh, we really enjoy the place. So Ma, what's your first impression of Canada? It's a very good question for uh, a first time like me. So I've seen that people are polite and uh, they just uh, greet you every time they see you around, even if they do not know you. That's what I observe. And one thing more is uh, they are very accommodating. So uh, they uh, are willing to assist you anytime you are uh, needed to be assisted. Uh, during our visits in different places here, we've met some Canadians. So uh, they are very interested to talk with us and know about our culture, how it feels to be the first time we're in the place. And uh, they are glad and jolly to talk with. Oh, the weather is uh, very exciting. Uh, it's, it is unpredictable, but they have this uh, weather apps for you to know or to check on what is uh, the weather for the day. I am being guided with these apps on what outfit to wear when I uh, plan to move out from the house. I experienced the lowest temperature of 4 uh, degrees Celsius. I needed to wear the long a puff uh, jacket and uh, it's good I have prepared for uh, ultra warm heat tech also. So I enjoyed the, the cold weather. And uh, another thing is I also experienced the 21 degrees Celsius and I was able to wear my t-shirt also. I thought I, cannot, I can no longer wear my shirt, but I did. So there are so many trees around and uh, I have not seen any um, a garbage at all along the road. So it's really clean. So do you need to be fluent in English before coming in Canada? No, you don't need to be fluent. I thought uh, before coming here, it would be my difficulty, but uh, I've seen it right that they are not particular in grammar and accent. If you uh, say things wrong or you, your statement is wrong, they would really tell you honestly that uh, on how you say things in a proper way. They are uh, really glad to help you out. Since it's your first time coming in Canada, I know that there might be comparisons between the home country, Philippines, and here. Can you say something about that? Can you share some of your experiences? Yes, there are lots of differences uh, back home and here, like uh, in the grocery store. I observed that uh, most of it is uh, done a self-checkout. So you do it yourself. However, if uh, you need an assistance, there are cashiers who are uh, willing to assist you. For transit, there is a, what we call a free zone in downtown, so you don't need to pay your fare. Uh, time dis is displayed in a monitor so that uh, you will know uh, how long will you be waiting for the train to come. And in bus transit, uh, it is preferred to book in advance. And that is for outside trip, outside Calgary. And uh, tickets are scanned before getting in the bus. Preferred payments here is card over cash. And I've seen that uh, no one is uh, looking at you like the guard or checking on you like guards. But I have seen uh, officers or peace officers around. They observe honesty policy here. So I observe also that they are uh, grateful. They ask you something, you have to make a small talk with them. And you are uh, called to be rude if you don't do that. 
did you had a hard time navigating here? Was it difficult or was it easy? And what would be your major adjustment? Actually, the major adjustment I did was uh, my sleeping pattern because back home, it's daytime, while here, it's, night, it's nighttime. But as to the environment, it's just uh, similarly similar in the Philippines. You've been here for 10 days? Yes. So what's your favorite part of the trip? Actually, the favorite part of the trip is in Waterton National Park. So the scenery is really amazing, especially in the lake, the cool breeze. Uh, you really could feel the, the cool breeze and it's really refreshing. Like uh, also when we had this hiking at uh, Bear Hump Trail. So you can see that complete scenery of the city. It's really wonderful. It's actually, it's a total package when you go to Watertown because uh, you can also see the falls. And uh, when we get back home to Calgary, we drop by Red Rock, which is really, again, it's amazing scenery. I would like to invite you guys to visit Canada also. You could really have a great experience like mine. <laughs> Thank you, Mama, for sharing your experience with our viewers. Thank you, my dear uh, daughter, Ursa. Of, uh, <laughs> giving me an opportunity to get involved in your vlogs. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for watching. And if you have any feedback, questions, suggestions, please feel free to type them in the comment section or reach out to me on my social media account, Alberta. Alberta. <laughs> Thank you everyone for all your support and for subscribing to my channels. I'm grateful for your feedback. And um, I hope to see you on the next one. Bye for now. Bye for now.